bottom of this and we're going to say, okay, we are not going to enter until we break this second candle down. Well, guess what? This candle broke to the bottom, but here the SAR had not yet been created. So we're going to wait. Now we get our SAR. Hey everyone, the professor here. And in today's video, this is going to be magical. Not only is it Christmas Eve, if you're watching this on the day it was published, but this crude oil strategy using the SAR can change your life in 2024. Your chart can go from looking like this to looking like this. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything from what is a SAR, how to install it in your trading view chart, and then how to trade with it from four hour time frame. Now don't freak out because you're thinking four hours. This strategy will work for everyone, but especially for folks that are working, have busy lives, kids, family, this could be the one strategy that completely changes your trading in 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is head over to Indicators tab and click on that. That should bring up this search bar here. What you wanna start doing is typing in PA, are and at some point you're probably going to grab this favorite right here which is for me already under my favorites or you'll see it in your drop down list called parabolic SAR and you want to go ahead and click on that once you click on that now I've already have it installed it'll appear over here on the left hand side so let me go ahead and make it visible now these are the settings that I want you to use as well so if you go right over here to the settings little wheel and click on that it's going to open up this box for you what i want you to do is i want you to start here on the far left hand side where it says inputs or inputs i'm sorry and i want to make sure that you have these same settings so you can go up and down and change these numbers so you want to have 0 0.05 as a start 0 0.05 as the increment and 0.5 as the max value okay Next is you want to make sure that this time frame shows the chart. You want to make sure that this is not marked off. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on save as default. So it can always return back to these values. Next, head over to the style. And this is where really you can just customize it however you like. You do want to make sure that this check mark is marked off. Now you can change the color depending on your background of your trading view chart. I have a dark background, so I like the green. But again, you can click on here and change this to your favorite color. And then you could actually change the symbol as well. Again, you can do any of these options here. For example, I have the circles, but if you want to change this to a cross, it'll just change the actual SAR to a cross versus a circle. And again, you can play around with these here. I like to keep it simple, so I like to use the circle. You want to make sure that these two check marks are marked off and again you want to click on save as default and then you want to click on OK. Now your chart has the parabolic SAR on it and I just wanted to kind of explain uh, real quick what the SAR stands for. So SAR stands for stop and reverse. So this indicator is going to give you an area where price has reversed like anything else, right? every indicator has somewhat of a lag to it now in that setting of 0.05 i didn't make it super aggressive and i didn't make it super conservative i'm kind of like right in the middle that's the setting i like for myself you're more than welcome to move some of those numbers around and see how it shifts the SAR maybe from one candle to another but i'm going to show you why this 0.05 setting really really works well and again today's video will strictly focus in on the four hour time frame. If after watching this video, you want me to do another video on the other time frames, like the eight hour, or the four hour, or what have you, you can definitely drop that down below uh, in the comments. And if at any point in this video, you get some value, you know what to do, you can definitely hit that like button for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into uh, the chart here. Now, the next thing you want to do is, I know most of you are accustomed to trading with these regular candles. And a lot of times what happens is that 
you know, even as experienced traders, we see these type of wicks, we freak out and we close trades way too early. So how do we avoid that? And how do we make this strategy work even better? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come over here to this little box right here where the candles have been chosen. And what I want you to do is I want to go down all the way till we see this setting right here called the Renko. And we're going to go ahead and click on it. Now you're going to see how your chart has been transformed. And what's nice about uh, the Renko is that these candles here, okay, these Renko candles, these Renko charts really wipe out all of the noise that's happening with all of the wicks on the regular candle settings. So for example, let me go ahead and highlight this one little area right here. Let's draw a box in this area. So I want you to look at this pattern right here using the Renko charts, okay? Now, if I go back to the uh, candles and then we find that box back in here, right? I wanna just show you how, you see how much cleaner the Renko is. All of this up and down movement scares a lot of traders and lets you get out of trades much earlier than you really need to. So it goes from this to going back to Renko, something like this, much cleaner, right? And direction is formed in one direction or another. So this is why we're going to incorporate the SAR strategy along with using the Renko chart. And I'm going to show you why. So now here, I really want you to focus in on the strategy. I'm going to teach you the strategy on the four hour time frame. I'm going to show you where you're supposed to get in, why the SAR flipped there. I'm going to show you where you get out. So really stay until the end of this video if you want to get some massive, massive value on this video. Okay, so let's go back into the chart and I'm going to be showing you multiple examples in multiple directions. Okay, so the first thing to note, and we're going to start right here in this area, is to see that here our first SAR to the upside was created. Okay, and I'm going to kind of highlight this right here. Okay, and this is going back into August of this year, and we'll kind of start there and we'll work all the way up to the current time frame that we are on. So you may even get a heads up about what's happening with crude oil if you stay until the end of the video. So now we see that the star or the SAR was created here. So why was that SAR created? So I kind of want to explain this and then I'm going to kind of give you a cheat sheet now about where you can anticipate this and happening so you can even maximize a better entry as well. But first, I'm going to teach you the plain old strategy for the SAR. And this is the way it works, okay? Once that SAR is created, automatically, I'm going to get rid of this arrow, automatically your stop loss becomes that first SAR. So I'm going to go ahead and make this red. This SAR becomes your stop loss. Your entry becomes the candle in which the SAR was created. So that would become this candle right here because this is where the SAR was created. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this up here and I'll make this uh, green so we keep it consistent with green is going to be entry, red is going to be stop loss, and blue is going to be profit. Now, let's talk about managing your trade. Okay, so now we have entry and we know where our stop loss is going to be. This is where your risk management and your trading plan comes into place. Now, I'm going to show you how this type of trading can actually cause you to have two, three, four, five, six hundred plus pips on any one given entry. But here's the one thing I want you to keep in mind. If you want a less stressful type of trading, if you want to be able to get in, get the bag and get out, set a whole number of 100. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. Okay, meaning you're going to take profit at 100 pips. Imagine if you can grab 100 consistently over and over and over or enter two positions, let one cash out at 100 and then leave a runner for the second one. Okay, so let me show you that scenario here in our first buy scenario. So in this case, 
a hundred pips from entry would be right here. It would have been basically one candle. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this with this being 100 pips right here. So that would be blue. Okay. So you can see here now that from entry, and I'm going to highlight this, from entry to profit, we already hit our blue level. Now understand that the risk, because we are trading on a four hour time frame, your risk here was 293 pips at this point. Okay. Because remember, the entry is going to, or the stop loss, I'm sorry, is going to be placed at the first SAR that's created as we begin this upward movement, okay? So understand when we talk about 100, what I would advise you to do is to secure profits at 100 and then let a runner go. Here's why. Because when we go back into the chart, okay, we can clearly see now that this trade continued to the upside. So the next question, right, we got up as far as 987 points or pips on this one. You can see here that we are green all the way up. And this is why I like the Renko candles, because you don't see all of the noise that's happening. So let me show you now what the exit strategy should be if you do this exactly the way that I'm teaching you. So in this case, the exit strategy should be the moment, and let me show you here, how this SAR continues in an upward direction. The exit strategy, if you haven't already exited somewhere here because of your trading plan, if you're trying to take this to just the way the strategy is meant to be, then you would get out when the first SAR flips in the opposite direction. So here we are moving up, 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 up. Now we get this red candle to come down, creating this SAR flip on the top side, right? We can clearly see that SAR flip. I'm gonna highlight it right here, right? We have a green dot to the top side. So that would have made our exit right here, this red candle. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. So if you took it until, until and again, you, obviously this is something that you should be trailing, right? Your stop loss within your account, you should be trailing this to whatever your plan is going to be. But even if you did not do that, that would be your exit. Okay. So in this first scenario, you ran this trade up uh, 784 pips. And this took you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Renko candles. But in reality, this trade lasted because within these Renko candles, there's multiple charts. This started on August 23rd and it ended on September 19th. So you ran this almost a month to the upside. Okay. So if you can digest, right, a longer type of trade, that's why I'm showing you this because I've had so many people folk say, Hey, I'm busy. I'm working a full-time job. I've got family. What can I do to kind of enter and just let it ride? right? Let it ride to maximize profits. This is the strategy for you. And if that's not your scenario, how about opening up a second account and letting that account just do this type of trading. So as we kind of get back into the chart here, right, that would be your exit. So let me cover again, entry and exit. So you fully understand it. The moment this first SAR is created, which was right here as we began to move up, right? Your stop loss becomes the SAR and we'll make that red. Your entry becomes the SAR, which would be this candle right here. Okay. And let me show you now why that broke right there. So here's a little extra bonus content. When you see two candles from the opposite color form, you don't want to get in before the break of that area. That's why the SAR was created. So in essence, what you created here was a teepee hut. And the moment that this teepee hut was broken, that's why the SAR was created. And here began the upside to this trend right here. Okay. And then again, the exit, if you do nothing, right, this is a very low maintenance type of thing. When you get the alert that your SAR has flipped, 
okay? Which would have happened here? That would be your exit unless you decided to take profits earlier. So whether it was 100 quick pips or you left it for the full 900 swing up for the course of a month, you were in massive, massive profits, okay? So understanding that we have begun a huge upswing from August to September in this particular scenario. But I do want to show you a couple of different scenarios to the downside as well. And what happens if you get into a trade at some point regarding, and this is why it's so important for you to understand trend, right? And if you, I'm going to give you a little tidbit now, and I just shared with you that a second ago, if you wait until those two candles break, you are not going to make a mistake trading this style of trading. Okay. This is going to be very, very profitable for you. So before we do that, I do want to share that if you have not yet taken advantage of joining our trading app, this is something we launched uh, in late November, right after Thanksgiving. And you have access to free coaching, free live events, a full chat zone. I'm giving you in their trade signals as well, learning articles for you to continue growing as a trader, a full video section, all future courses for free. You get full access. So again, if you want to take advantage of this, you can head over to that website on the screen. I'm going to also have that linked down below as well in the video description. We would love for you to join us. We will have a price increase on January 1st, 2024. So if you get in now before January, you can save a few dollars. We have a monthly plan. We have an annual plan. On the annual plan, it's as cheap as $22 a month. And you lock in your annual or monthly price for life. So you will never pay another penny. Even if there's future increases, you will always be locked in for life. So let's go ahead and get back into the chart here. So we talked about, we have now given you this uptrend scenario, okay? So you, we talked about having waiting for the two candles in this direction and then waiting for a SAR confirmation. So let's see what happens here in this particular case. So here are our two red candles. We've just had a massive swing up. We have now two red candles coming down. So we need to wait for the break of that candle right? So here's our two. We're going to put it on the top of that candle right there. Okay. Now, if you notice here, the SARS are going in the downward direction. We are not interested in that because we are in an uptrend and we want to go ahead and buy the next SAR that flips to the top side. Well, guess what? That happened right here. You can see the SAR happening right in the zone right in here. So now the SAR is created because we broke the trend that had been created right here, right? We broke this level here for lack of better words. And that's why the SAR was created. So if we get in at the SAR, it becomes right here again. And I'll make that green for entry. We place our stop loss at the SAR, as we told you earlier. So we make that red. And again, in this scenario, right? We want to look at two things. Number one, either a hundred pips, right? For our first entry. So our first entry, hundred pips would have been right here. That first candle and the beginning of the second candle gave us our 100 pips. And this is why if you do not get greedy and you set this at 100 pips, maybe that's your only entry. I cannot find too many scenarios that you will even lose a trade using this style of trading. We are sitting on the four hour time frame. You are going to have a bigger stop loss area, but if you don't get greedy and you take a hundred, it's going to be massive profits. Here's why. Let me show you on this example. Why? Because in this example, right? We told you the exit is the first SAR flip, right? So that first SAR flip happened there that happened on this candle. So guess what? You would have been getting out right where you got in. So if you did not cash out at 100 or 150 or 200, because this went all the way up to 274 pips, right? But here's the beauty of it. If you had two entries, your first one cashed out at 100 and your runner, let's say you put it back at break even, 
you only broke even on that one. It's not a big deal. Because really, what you should be doing on any trade is that you should be moving your stop loss. As you got into this trade here, your stop loss should be rolling with you to maximize your profits. So instead of letting it come all the way back to break even, maybe you set it here when price had reached this level. And then on the way down, it took you out at 200 pips versus breaking even. This is where managing your trade is so, so important. Okay, so we, we're with the trend here and we see that we had this break. And so you take your secondary trade here on the four hour time frame. Now, let me wipe this out and let's go now in the opposite direction. So we talked about the two candle rule and I really want you to listen in on this right here again the two candle rule. So I'm gonna show you the two Renko candles to the upside and let's see what happens when we break to the bottom side of that, okay? So we're here now and we are going to see candle and I'm gonna kind of highlight them so you see them, right? Candle one and candle two were our last two green candles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the bottom of this and we're going to say okay we are not going to enter until we break this second candle down well guess what this candle broke to the bottom but here the SAR had not yet been created so we're going to wait now we get our SAR confirmation here and here it is right here we get our SAR confirmation so now that creates entry right here so now we're at entry here i'm going to put that green we know from the rules that we talked about, our stop loss is the first SAR. That becomes our stop loss, okay? So again, understanding your risk management, you got to tell yourself, what risk am I going to use for a 344 pip stop loss in this scenario, okay? And then we get into our entry and we're not supposed to exit unless we cash out early until we get the next SAR flip, which happened here. That would put our exit here, and I'll make this blue. So if we did it merely by the rules of this strategy that I'm teaching you, right, then our gains would have been 500. So a little less than a two to one risk to reward ratio. Probably not that we love a two to one, but I've already given you three scenarios that you saw that price never even came close to coming back to the stop loss area. This is why if you really focus in on taking 100 pips on first entry and then letting a second runner go, you are going to do some amazing things in 2024. So as we kind of get back into the scenario, the scenario played out exactly how we wanted it, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and flip the script here. I'm going to get rid of that. And so we can see here. Now, mind you, we have not yet, yet done any supporting resistance. We haven't done any Fibonacci levels. I just want to show you the essence of this right here. So now we had this downtrend that we were working on. Remember what we talked about before? Okay. Uh, if there's a massive downtrend, you want to go ahead and wait for the next movement in the same direction. Okay. You want to wait for the movement in the same direction. So in this case, what do we see here? We see here that we had these two uh, green candles here. So what do we wanna do? We wanna wait until our next cell star flip, okay? Which happened right over here. Now in this particular case, if you notice here, and I'll go ahead and highlight this here, right? That star flip happened because of this wick right here. So in this case, that would have been entry, right? That would have been entry going down. If you would have put 100 pips, you would have gotten your 100 pips here. But then what happened? The candle reversed, right? So again, this is why even if you made a mistake, and let me go ahead and put this here for 100, that would have been your first entry. This is why I keep focusing on 100, 100, 100, because I've tested this. That would have been your stop loss right there. So even if you would have taken 100, right? In this scenario, and then price flipped on you. Well, guess what? Your stop loss should have been trading or I'm sorry, trailing this hundred pips along the way, right? So your exit should have been somewhere in here with your stop loss. 
you would have not left your stop loss at the original stop loss location. You would have been bringing that down, riding your runner with you, and then maybe stopped out halfway or whatever the case may be. Okay, that was the power of this right here. Okay, now let's go on to another scenario. And I'm just going to show you one more example. And if you're getting some value, you can definitely, you know, drop that like button for me. Now we're getting into where price is right now. And then I'm going to show you that here uh, in just a minute. So again, we had this, and this is why, you know, knowing price action a little bit, right? We had this massive price down. Here's a retracement, right? Now here where you can actually take it to the next level, you can actually incorporate a little support and resistance, right? So here, and you can do this on the regular candles, we can see that price had come up previously. So we've now tested this now, not only once, right? that was our initial test, but we came up a second and third time. So we know that's been a key level, okay? We know that's been a key level. So now you incorporate a little support and resistance, right? And what happens here, let's go back to my rule of we had two green candles identified. We draw at the bottom of we need a break to the bottom side. We know we've got resistance to the top side. And guess what? Perfectly enough, our SAR is created when it breaks that area. Here's our SAR. So what do we do? We set our stop loss at the SAR. We make that red. We enter on the SAR candle, which is right here. Okay, when the SAR flips. So we're gonna make this green. And we are going to set our first TP at 100 pips from here. So we're gonna go 100 down, which is right here. That is our first profit level right there. We're gonna make that blue. Okay, and then our runner will continue until either you want to wait until you get a SAR flip in the opposite direction, which happened here. Then this would have been your cash out on the runner. Or again, you are trailing this along the way and any of these wicks at any point could take you out between here and here, but you made profits on your second position as well, okay? But if you left it at it as is, then this second position ran from entry down to SAR flip, ran here, 862 pips. Okay, we're in a downward motion here. So now we added one little piece to the pie here, where in this example, not only did we get the SAR flip and it worked out perfectly, you also worked off an area of previous resistance to kind of give you a little extra validation that that was a strong area and the SAR is going to always be your stop loss. So as we move into here, I'll show you one more quick example. So we're on this massive downtrend, right? We are really not looking or you should not be looking to buy this movement here, okay? If you're gonna continue in this direction, right? We have a massive swing down, we see a retracement, right? And look where the retracement came back to. So now if we erase this right here, we saw price had previously come here before, look what we have here. We have an area of previous resistance, right? We're in a downtrend. So what are we doing again? We're setting our two candles green, we're waiting for the SAR in the same direction as momentum. Here is the SAR right here. Our entry becomes, or that becomes our stop loss. We'll make this red. This becomes our entry. Our first 100 pips becomes right here. Our runner, we'll go to make this blue. And then our runner begins to run down to the first SAR flip. If you want to do that type of strategy, right, we talk about, that would put that second one here, but you gave up a lot of pips. Hopefully you're trailing it, but even if you didn't trail it, your runner gave you, and this can't, this should be green, I'll change that now. Your runner gave you 388 pips if you took it to the SAR flip. This should be green for entry, okay? If you trailed it, to the bottom side, right? Then this entry went as far down as 689 pips before it reversed. And again, the key to this is taking that original stop loss. And once you get a hundred, keep moving with it 
and decide you want to take 200, 300, 400, 500, whatever the case may be, uh, and trail that with you. Or if you're strictly going to use the uh, SAR flip, then you gave up a good chunk of pips that you could have had because you got greedy because this reversed 344 pips. So you gave back 344 pips by not trailing this as well. Okay. And then lastly, as promised, this is where crude oil is right now. Okay. So this is the four hour crude oil. We had this SAR flip. Why? Because we broke the two candle rule right here. Okay. So, you know, if you want to counter trend this, you're going to still make a hundred pips, right? I'm going to try to teach you to stay with the trend. But if you want to counter trend this, you're going to almost still be guaranteed a hundred pips. So we are still trending down. You can see this right here, right? This is a this is a, a trend down completely, right? We had a pullback, 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 and a pullback. So even on a pullback, if you go off the two candle rule, you get the last previous two candles, you put your marker because you already know that's when the SAR is going to flip. There is your stop loss. Let's make this red. There is your entry. Even on a, let's make this green, even on a counter trend, if you're just looking for 100 pips, there's your 100. There's your first take profit. And then after that, you are, you are trailing, let's make this blue, you are trailing your stop as well. Right there. So easy 100. And you can see now that we are moving up with regards to uh, crude oil. This started back in... December 14th. And here we are uh, in this week as we are moving on. So, you know, we are just continuously moving and moving and moving when it comes to that. So again, hopefully this strategy here gave you kind of a good reason to look at this and say, okay, maybe I can add a second account and trade from this account, just this strategy here. And I kind of want to throw this uh, banner in here at the bottom. So again, hopefully you got some massive value. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments section. If you want me to do this strategy on multiple time frames to show you, also put that down in the comments and I will get back to you within 24 hours. If you're inside of our trading app, we'll be doing some of this uh, inside of our app because we do trade live in the app. That's the advantage of being a member in the app. There are 90% of what we do is going to be in the app in 2024 versus any other social media platform. So again, for less than a buck a day, you can jump in there and get some massive, massive value. Uh, you're not locked in. You can you can cancel anytime and your membership will end at the end of whatever, you know, yearly or monthly that you chose for you. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you got some value and we'll see you on the next video.